So this is a, an instructional video on how to use Sonica's trade journal spreadsheet. Uh, my name's Bryce Edwards. I'm a short-term trader on the Australian stock market, the ASX. Uh, and I originally contracted Sonica to custom build this for me uh, because there was nothing else out there on the market that was suitable for higher volume intraday traders. Um, so this was about 18 months ago. We've since um, been working to expand the project uh, make it more user friendly and then uh, roll it out and make it available for other traders on the Sonica website. Um, so with the introduction out of the way, let's get started. So firstly, when you open the Excel file, um, up the top here you want to enable the editing uh, and also um, just make sure that you enable content so that the macros, uh, the macros are enabled. Um, and here we've got um, the navigation menu. So this gives you a bit of an overview of how the spreadsheet works. You've got a, a flow chart up the top here uh, and then the corresponding tabs down the bottom. Um, so we start with formatting your trade data. Um, I'll give you a little bit more detail on how to input this data a little later, um, but just for the sake of the overview, um, we stick our trade data in here. So we, we paste the data in uh, you click refresh and then that will compute all your closed trades um, to the trade log. Um, so this is the trade log. Um, you can see all the individual closed trades here. Um, and then over the right hand side, um, you can use these um, metadata parameters um, to customize your different trade setups uh, and categorize um, you know, various aspects of the trade which then compute to the metadata analytics page, which is over here. And this gives you all sorts of different stats about days of the week, um, you know, long, short, where you're making your money, um, either in the morning, the afternoon, um, and then a breakdown uh, by the particular trade strategy. Um, so back to the navigation menu. Um, here, once your data is all in the trade log, um, the next stage is to go and then analyze um, using these, these couple of different dashboards. Um, you know, here we've got the weekly dashboard. Um, we can see all the key metrics um, up the top here and then a breakdown by day of the week. Um, you know, your total turnover, expectancy, commissions, um, and then also net profit loss per ticker. Um, so this is going to aggregate, you know, all your your, um, your trades in APX, for example, for the week and give you a net figure per ticker. Uh, and then down the bottom here, you've just got a cumulative um, net profit and loss for the week. Um, you can use, up the top here, you can use the, um, the selection uh, to select individual weeks or you can hold control and, uh, and select multiple weeks so that you can see what some of your ratios are over, over you know, multiple week period. Um, same go, goes for all trades, um, so this should um, collect all the data um, that's in the entire spreadsheet for the open range. Um, I've got it selected just for the current year um, and that will give you the same sort of thing um, with the histogram but it's going to give you a day by day net P&L for, for each day. Um, you're going to see your equity curve uh, and then also underneath you've got a drawdown chart. So the next thing that we're going to do is look at a step-by-step -step process for getting your trades out of the Iris Trader uh, platform and then into the Trade Journal spreadsheet. Um, so the first step is um, within the Iris Trader platform you want to be looking at the trades uh, pad. Um, then you're going to select your date range. Um, I'm just going to go back to the 31st of August. Hit request. And there you can see that it's spat out all my trades. Um, the next thing that you want to do, and this is really important, is we're going to group our trades by order number. And what that's going to do is drastically re reduce the amount of data that you're pulling across because all the individual trades are going to be consolidated um, in order to get a total volume and average price for each individual order that you made. Um, so we group by order number, and then once that's done, we simply uh, click on one of the rows here from one of the trades hit control C to copy um, and that will copy the data. You then want to come to a blank sheet, right? So we don't paste straight into the journal. We go to a blank sheet, 
paste the data in. Um, and the next step is to group all the trades and sort by date. So we're gonna come down here and sort by date, oldest to newest, and that will get everything in chronological order, um, which is what we want to get the, the data into the spreadsheet. Then we're just gonna copy the relevant data. So we're not going to copy across um, the column headers. We're just gonna take the data from underneath. So we go from column A all the way across to the date, which is L, all the way down to the bottom. And we just go copy. And then we go to the trade journal. Um, we put, pick the top uh, left row where we're gonna paste the data underneath right click and we're going to paste special um, because we don't want to override the, the uh, formulas that are in the box so we only want to paste values we do but do that by pasting special paste special click values okay and once all the data is in there um, that will all uh, basically compute notice here you've got a data control message now what happens here if there is not an equal and an offsetting um, sale for every buy. It means that there's an open position. And so this data won't be pulled across to the trade log until um, the position's closed. Um, so any messages that you get here in the data control message, it should generally be that just warning you that this is an open position. Uh, then we press refresh. Um, it makes you aware of, of the data control message, hit yes. And then you'll get a little pop-up box saying that the update's complete. Okay, and then we can come to the weekly dashboard um, and have a look at our last week's worth of trading. Um, which you can see there. Again, this is going to generate um, or update the rest of your um, uh, dashboards here here I'm looking at the all trades dashboard and so this is the data that we've just pulled across so the next thing that we're going to do is uh, look at adjusting some of the settings so that you can personalize it for your own trading um, so the settings tabs over here the first thing uh, to note is this box here this is your, your brokers and your commission rates um, so you'll notice in the raw data sheet when you bring in the raw data you're not going to be bringing in any commission rates. This is calculated by the spreadsheet um, based on the turnover. Um, so up the top here, if you're using one broker, you simply type in the commission rate in percentage terms. So this is eight basis points, 0.08%. Um, then the spreadsheet's just gonna take the, the value of the trade and multiply it by the commission rate to get your commission in dollar terms. So very easy, if you're just using one broker, there's your solution. Uh, if you're using multiple brokers like I am, you can go and put the third and or the second and the third uh, broker in this little section here, and this will override the commission rate for the first broker. So in raw data, um, what you're going to see here is the spreadsheet. The spreadsheet references the account number that you've put in to the settings and it's going to apply the appropriate commission rate and override the first broker's commission rate here. Um, so that's pretty simple. Um, the next section that you're able to customize here is the metadata drop downs. Um, so this all relates to the metadata analytics. Um, you can come in and just customize this um, however you like. Um, remember the, uh, the trade setups, when you tag each individual tra trade setup in the trade log here, um, you know, you can customize all these particular setups and that's going to compute to the metadata analytics page. Um, so that's the metadata, uh, the commissions. With the trade time, this is all done automatically. You can actually change the intervals. Um, I've called morning anything before 11.30. Um, Lunch time is anything before, um, sorry, after 11.30, before 2. And then afternoon is after 2 p.m. You can change those if you like. Um, the last thing is a broker call tracker. Um, whether you want to use this or not, I mean, I originally started using it to see if I could um, categorize which of the broker upgrades and downgrades um, are more powerful and which have a, a, a greater trading range. 
um, you can play around with that and then obviously um, same goes when you're tagging um, the, 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 uh, the broker data you can do that all through here with the, with the relevant drop downs um, so that's it for the settings